Oracle DB versus MySQL. A friend of mine recently published an article about why MySQL is the right choice if you're doing development of a web platform and that you'd have to be nuts to use Oracle DB. I pointed out to this friend that there are a lot of cases in which it actually makes a lot of sense to use Oracle DB for your web platform, but just in general, Oracle has some advantages over MySQL. I use MySQL for a lot of things. It powers my WordPress sites. A lot of the custom dev work that I do is built on MySQL. So I'm by no means an Oracle fanboy, just an objective observer that there are a lot of things that buying Oracle gets you. One of the first and most important is auditing. MySQL has very limited functions in auditing, and auditing is important if you need to guarantee that the transactions that you attempted to write to the database actually happen. Auditing provides a trail that allows you to determine the differences between what's in the database and what's supposed to be in the database. Without this, you can't do some of the recovery, you can't guarantee that the data is always accurate, and you can't do some of the other checking against your database to make sure that everything that happened and all of the data that's there should be or that the database has been tampered with. The security in MySQL is pretty unsophisticated. You are only able to use the built-in security that comes with MySQL. It doesn't have connective services for LDAP or Active Directory services. Without these functions, it's much harder to manage an enterprise-level database with lots of users. While a web application mostly is going to receive writes from a single user, the program as it were, Active Directory services in Oracle allow you to set such rules as this is a person in accounting. They have access to all of the accounting databases and queries that run against accounting databases. This person is in engineering and has access to engineering databases, but does not have access to accounting. And because you can use the groups that you've set up in Active Directory services, when HR hires a new accountant, they just automatically have access to that particular database. And the audit trail will show you which specific user wrote something to the database so you can see where something broke and how to fix it based on the transaction log. Scalability is also an issue with MySQL. And people have argued that MySQL 5.5 makes MySQL as scalable as any other platform. But the truth is that there is no support for MPP or massively parallel processing in MySQL. So while you can scale certain types of transactional bits of database interaction, large amounts of computational actions cannot be easily scaled. If, for example, you have a query that needs to go through and update everybody with 7% interest or needs to do a large calculation for search authority because you're building a who has the most authority in a you know, tiered search system and you need to say this person has the most contacts and after you get to the end the next thing you need to do is go back to the beginning and say based on the values that everybody has what is the new value that they have much like what Google would do with their search engine. You can't build those things easily on MySQL because the scalability of the processing is not there. MySQL also is missing fractional second transactions. You can store a timestamp in the log for an entry that says this new entry was created and here was the time or here was the last modified, but it's only accurate to the second, not to fractional seconds. This starts to be an issue if you're doing things like World of Warcraft databases or if you're doing bank transactions and it could in fact matter whether or not you deposited a item before you removed an item or for detecting duplicate items based on timestamps for when things happened. One of the biggest features of Oracle is a thing called RAC, Real Application Clustering. And 
it does more than just scale, it manages failover. When a server dies, Rack allows you to say, automatically promote a new server to be the master and find some other server to be a slave or take all of the load that was on this server and transfer it to another server. As a result, Oracle databases are very fault tolerant. You can lose several servers in a cluster and everything will stay up. It may get a little slower, but it will in fact stay up. With MySQL, you don't have that automatic failover. So if you lose a master, the slave will not automatically step up and replace it. And it won't prioritize the types of queries that are being run against it or the processes that are being run in order to make the entire system stay up you may lose partial functionality rather than just degrade the overall performance. There are some other differences between MySQL and Oracle that are more about programming than necessarily the scale or the infrastructure. One of those is that MySQL only supports 61 joins and Oracle supports over 200 joins in a single query. As someone who works in my in Google's data store GQL, I'm used to working with no joins at all. So as a developer, I've learned to get around using joins. But there are definitely times when using a join to take information from several queries and combine it becomes critical. And this is one of the places that Oracle really excels is that the complex queries that can be executed and the built-in optimizations that Oracle uses in order to make those queries take as few cycles as possible and perform as quickly as possible means that it's easier for the developer to create well-performing queries without having to test hundreds of possible combinations of ways to run that query. Lastly is replication. MySQL has some of the worst replication ever of any of the databases that are out there. The replication service is single threaded. And so if you've got 200 cores running in your main database, replication is pretty much impossible because the replication is going to go through a single thread. So if you're doing a large number of write transactions, the replication server is not going to be able to keep up with those transactions ever. And you're going to either have to have scheduled downtime in order to offset those or you're going to have to come up with a different method for doing replication and there's no snapshotting in MySQL so you can't just snapshot something and say it's replicated as of this time it truly is a this is you know always running in the chase mode and if you have to catch up you have to catch up it just it doesn't really work well or scale or fail over as well as Oracle does if you're not doing mission critical 100% uptime stuff, MySQL is great and it doesn't cost anything, which is a huge advantage over Oracle. It doesn't require specialized hardware the way Oracle does for scaling. But overall, Oracle is much more an enterprise solution and has a lot more thought process put into how it's been developed and addressing administration issues, scale issues, and usability issues.